Carol and crew, and today I'm going to show you how to transform this blank canvas behind me into a work of art. Stay tuned. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and paint a chalkboard wall. In order to do that, we're going to need some tape measure to measure off right about toddler height here. <laughs> a pencil to mark the spot. Yes. Can you hold that for me? Thank you. You got that? All right. Some chalkboard paint. Got mine framed. This is just under 10 bucks, I think, for this whole bunch. A little foam roller. Old Tupperware tray. If you don't have a fancy painter's tray, we'll do the trick along with some painter's tape to make sure you don't go outside of the lines. Let's get started. Okay, once you have your section taped off, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and mix your paint really, really well. It's important for the final outcome that it's stirred thoroughly. Now's a good time to go ahead and ask the little kiddos in your life to back away from the premises. Things are about to get a little messy. It takes two to three coats total, and you gotta wait two to three hours between each coat. So we got a ways to go, but we're getting there. Start on the second coat. Oh, See in the second coat. It's getting there. So it's much later now, the second coat has dried. We are on to coat number three. Oh, I just wanna get this part done. The kids are finally asleep. It's like 9.30 at night, but I wanna finish the final round of paint so I don't have to worry about them touching the walls because I don't know how I'm the messiest paint person in the world, but I haven't even opened this yet. Uh, and they're miniature versions of me. They're worse. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and get this third coat up on the wall so by tomorrow it'll be dry and then we just have to wait three days for it to cure before we can do the next step with the chalkboard. But we're going to go ahead and start the next step with the art gallery after this. So let's get painting. the last coat of paint last night. I still haven't managed to get it off of me yet, but it's up on the wall and it's time for the moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and peel off the tape and see how clean the lines are. We need to do any touching up before moving on to the next step. Yeah? Yeah. I mixed up. Looking good so far. see the perfectionist in me there's a little bit of white here on the door frame but that's because there was an oversplash of white paint from before so a little bit that peaked here but we can go ahead and cover that up with some white paint overall I'm pretty impressed with this line Cure. And then we have to prime it. While we wait the three days for this chalkboard to cure, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next. 
next step. We're going to start hanging some frames up on this wall so we can showcase some of my little artist's spectacular work. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and hang up some frames that I've been collecting here at the thrift store. The more ornate the frames, the better. And it really doesn't matter what color they are because we're going to go ahead and spray paint them all flat black with a can of spray paint from the dollar store. Okay. So that way, they're all uniformed. We're going to remove the glass and the backing so it doesn't matter if it doesn't have any to begin with. Now that it's finally three days later, this chalkboard is ready for the last step before we can use it. All we have to do is prime this puppy. All you have to do to prime it is take your piece of chalk and rub it up and down on the chalkboard. It's okay, you're going to lose a few pieces of chalk in this process. But you do this across the whole board and then you wipe it clean. This is an essential last step so you don't end up with any permanent unwanted lines. So now that we've thoroughly primed this board with chalk in our hands, it's ready to prep. All we're going to need is a rag. Go ahead and wipe off the mess that we made. Oh, I know, all that hard work, right? Mm -hmm. But pretty soon you can be able to color on it now. Because it's dusty, see? And there you have it, a chalkboard wall. Remember, three coats of paint, three days of wait, prime, and then it's ready for fun. How do you write Luna? Adam. You? Now, here comes the hard part for mom. I've got to choose which art to display up top. New highlight. Everybody's rocking chalk highlight, right? Watch out, beauty community. Here I come.